Tiberians they kindled fire for us and because of the present rain and it people that are murderers and scavengers for life we are showing kindness I make this declaration what swallows up others what others encounter and they go into extinction you will see it and it will bow to the oil on your hair if it is possible for wickedness to finish a man sent by God I should not be preaching I should not be preaching it's possible to 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 make a man of God expire ah, I should not they will throw it and they will sit down to watch my Sunday service they will throw it and sit down to watch <laughs> the problem we have is not the mountains that are great it is your strength that is small you faint in the day of adversity Proverbs 24 verse 10 thy strength is small you will not fail that was a strong word mama that was a strong word I went to preach in Canada one time I went to preach in Canada and administered the first session second session the third session my wife is laughing third session i was just worshiping the lord in the morning i said lord jesus no in the evening to prepare for the third session the morning, lord jesus what are you saying what are you saying for the next session he said let your wife preach ah, i said thank god so i said to her, you are preaching he said ah, no 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 no. i just followed you i didn't come to preach i said but he said you are preaching he said, ah, why didn't you tell him i'm not prepared <laughs> I said but that's what he said thank you jesus i climbed the bed that's, i'm not preaching now so why, why will i stress myself so let me just sleep so she started ministering that morning ah i almost regretted it me i became usher because every all the pastors were down usher down protocols down i became usher I started helping people, helping people. I said, and I was helping them, they were ignoring me. They were focused on the one that was ministering. So, <laughs> so, service was about to end. I said, ah, ah, I brought you here now. Before you will collect ministry from me, I switched to what I carry. I said, there is somebody here. <laughs> to prophesy <laughs> so I saw everybody say ah, amen amen I said hey. we're going to come my wife laughed and laughed and laughed he said sorry I said no 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 that was nice that was very nice I mean at least Gio is Gio <laughs> I remember when we married, I said to her, I said, see, I met you in courtship. You were already firebrand. If that fire drops because you carry, you are now conscious of title of mama. Let there be no, you know, there are husbands and wives, you see the gap. It's like from the east to the west. No, catch up. Even if it's some ministry, singles ministry, uh, marriage ministry, catch up and be, be, be an authority in that fold. When they call you to speak, let everybody keep quiet. It must not be evangelism. It can just be relationship. Be so sound and so good that your husband will sit down to listen. Amen. Oh, you got fire in your hands nothing hides from you you see everything 
even the deepest secrets of men expose every evil consume every wickedness you are the all consuming fire come and manifest yourself you are the all consuming fire I worship you today you are the all consuming fire come and manifest yourself all consuming fire we worship you today you are the all consuming fire come and manifest yourself you got fire in your eyes nothing hides from you you see everything even the deepest secrets of man expose every evil consume every wickedness you are the all consuming fire come and manifest yourself and what would I live for if I don't have you in my life what would I gain if you take the Holy Ghost what would I become of me if I didn't see your light what would have been said of me if you didn't hold my hand now I've come to realize that you are all I have you are all that matters you are all that matters I put you in front in front of my melody you are all that matters you are all i make room for two it's you and i jesus you are all that matters oh shakataba i put you in front in front of my melody you are all that matters Lord. blessed be the name of the Lord we worship you Lamb of God throw your weight around let this be that encounter someone prayed for blessed be your mighty name in Jesus name we pray <laughs> clap those hands and take your seat if you will after that strong word from from mom I don't know that was a strong word do you agree with me strong word strong word I'm going to read two portions of scripture one of them is first Kings 20 30 to 41 and the other is Luke 24 49 first Kings 20 38 to 41 the prophet departed and waited for the king by the way and disguised himself with ashes upon his face and as the king passed by he cried unto the king and he said thy servant went out into the midst of the battle and behold a man turned aside and brought a man unto me and said keep this man if by any means he be missing then shall thy life be for his life or else thou shalt pay a talent of silver and as thy servant was busy here and there he was gone and the king of Israel said unto him so shall thy judgment be thyself has decided it Luke 24 49 
Luke 24 49 and behold I send unto you let's read this one together everywhere around and clear and behold I send the promise of my father upon you but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high tarry to carry tarry to carry tarry to carry somebody say tarry to carry one more time tarry to carry for the last time tarry to carry if you are very prophetic it's going to ma manifest fast in your life say tarry to carry ministers of God are too outdoors ministers of God are looking for methods to grow church and God is looking for men why men are looking for method God is looking for men when I started church planting there was no book I didn't read I needed to know what makes it work but I noticed that every book I read was in conflict with the previous book I read I'm going to be <laughs> this one says home cell I read it back to back great man of God Dr. Yonge Cho the next book I read home cell has never been known to be productive uh -uh. I read that one again I read another one they say evangelism strategic evangelism and spiritual mapping you, you know what they call spiritual mapping okay you should know all the kind of books I read I read at least 33 books on church planting I was looking for them there was one time I went to wait on the Lord and pray I took about four I finished them in one and a half days I was just reading my Bible reading the book reading my Bible it was like I had an exam because I needed to get it right when I finished that one I came back I had to do Sunday service I finished pew when I finished like that Sunday service I'm done so I can have time Monday to wait on the Lord I took another set of book this other set of book was antagonistic of the one I read the last week <sighs> I dropped it and I began to ask God what do I need and God said to me every man he said those people are not lying but every man follows me based on the revelation he has of me But there is a certain revelation if you must see explosion tarry 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 there is no endowment until dues are paid the more you tarry the heavier you carry the longer you tarry the stronger you carry tarry <laughs> you cannot do ministry without the Holy Ghost many are blaming god why is this man better why is that one doing well they have got into the realm and the line of comparison they are seeing god as one man not where an entity that's becoming partial ezekiel 18 25 ezekiel 18 29 am i a god that is impartial ezekiel 33 17 ezekiel 33 20 am i a god that is impartial deuteronomy 6 18 says you do the right thing there is a right thing to do. Deuteronomy 12 25, Deuteronomy 12 28. If you do the right thing, Deuteronomy 13 18, Deuteronomy 13 21, there is a right thing to do. And Jesus gave them the key. 
I like what Thomas said. Until I touch the nail prints of his hand. Hear me, child of God. Everyone in life who wants to experience an outstanding work in ministry no matter the a lady called Lydia and entered the house of Lydia and Lydia opened the house when she heard the gospel and took them into the house and they got in and she served them meal after she was done serving them the Bible says a young damsel walked after them and said these are the servants of God who showed the way of righteousness that was not wrong she was saying the truth but there was a problem it's not enough to say the truth what is your motive for saying the truth what is your motive for saying what you are saying the Bible says that by doing that she brought much gain to her masters so even if you are genuine and you are not bringing gain to the kingdom you are disqualified even if you are genuine and you are not bringing gain to God you are disqualified there are many ministers of God today God called them as soon as God called them heaven lost and they gained heaven became you know ran into losses and they gained and the Bible says we looked at the devil and said come out of her and the Bible said the demon came out of the girl and the people were angry they began to beat up Paul they began to beat up Silas they beat them and they put them in prison it was in a city called Philippi that was that season in the life of Paul Paul was so angry what have I just done why do I have to go through this beating what Paul did was not commensurate was not in semblance with the kind of beating he got and that was why when Paul and Silas were angry in the place of prayer the Bible said the prison doors were open Paul was angry Paul was in pain why will I go through what I'm going through all because I casted out a devil Paul never knew that that was the city of Philippi by that beating he was getting he was planting the church of philippians that was the season yet the philippian church was better it was better on the backstrokes of paul if that church was not better many things would have been wrong paul was beaten because of the church of philippi paul was beaten because of the philippian church if the philippian church was not born how would i have known that philippians 1 verse 6 says that god who has begun a good work is able to perfect it if the church of philippi was not born how would i have known that philippians 2 verse 12 work out your own salvation with fear and trembling if the church of philippi was not raised i would not have known philippians 2 13 that it is god that is able to will and to work in you is good pleasure if the church of philippi was not established i would not have known philippians 2 verse 5 he says let this mind be in you which was in christ jesus if the church of philippi was not established i would not have known philippians 4 13 i can do all things through Christ we threatened me if the church of Philippi was not established how would I have known Philippians 3 verse 10 that I may know him and the power of his resurrection if the church of Philippi was not established how would I have known Philippians 4 19 but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory lift your wind shut fire 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 oh sister roots when she was being introduced to that young man she married when roots was introduced to that young man to the two sons of elimelech malon and chilon Ruth thought she was getting married to that family she never knew she was passing through that family her husband died she cried her father-in-law died she cried her brother-in-law died she cried i'm sure many in her family would have called her names they would have said she was cursed how come you lost your father-in-law you lost your mother-in-law and the bible said the woman was living and the woman said to them return back to your home the bible says that upper kissed her but root clay 
not every kisser is a cleaver so you celebrate many of us are celebrate kissers we are celebrating kissers we are not celebrating cleavers who may not be emotionally expressive but their heart is with you who may not be emotionally expressive they cannot communicate their belief in your vision because there's no money now there's no influence now but deep down their heart they are ready to stay with you when the chips are down and the bible says she said i will follow you he said your god will be my god your people will be my people where you go i will go so there are three things that determine who you follow who is his god your god will be my god who is his god he said your people will be my people who does he relate with where you go i'll go where is he going those three things matters as you follow anyone he said your god will be my god. you must make sure that he's following the real god your people will be my people who does he accompany who does he accompany he says and where you go i will go where is he going am i communicating right now and the bible says Ruth. Ruth was stranded she had nothing to return back to and she followed naomi he said i found gold i found the treasure and went with naomi and the bible said naomi said to her now there was something i read that got me a little bit worried there was a man called obed who was married who wasn't married and was the in-law to naomi the bible called obed a man of wealth a man of influence but i have a problem here how come obed was a man of wealth and yet elimelech died in poverty how come obed was a man of wealth malon and chilon died sick and stranded how come obed was a man of wealth and there was there was, there was scarcity because the bible says in bethlehem there was no bread in the house of bread there was scarcity bethlehem is the house of bread but now there was no bread in the house of bread and the bible says he said to that girl whose name was Ruth look at this he said position yourself am I talking to somebody here the problem we have is that people are not strategically positioned and position yourself Obed was not the king's married redeemer he said in Luke 3 verse 13 he said I am not your king's married redeemer there is a king's married redeemer that is nearer than I if he doesn't come and perform his duty because now you lost your husband he's supposed to get married to you the man ran am i communicating the man ran away because how do you marry a lady who lost the husband lost the father-in-law lost the brother-in-law but sometimes you must understand the reason you are going through so much battles is because you are special god's choice is the devil's target when you are the choice of god you become the target of the devil and the bible says that root was stranded root was stranded root got married to obed and i love the word of the lord when root the bible was describing in matthew 1 i think verse 5 he said and those gave birth to obed obed of root why was root going through all of this inside of her she was carrying someone called jesse and why was jesse in the picture jesse was carrying David. Why was David in the picture? Jesus was coming to the line of David. So all that Ruth was going through, it was because she was carrying a seed. She lost her husband. Not because she was evil, she was carrying a seed. She lost her father-in-law. Not because she was evil, she was carrying a seed. She lost everyone. So I'm trying to tell you now that your battles are multiplying because you are pregnant with a seed. There is something in your life there is a grace upon your life and by the power of the holy ghost as you hear the sound of my voice i see you deliver i see you bringing back i see you bringing forth you are delivering that seed that is inside of you somebody shout fire 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 
Listen to me. Mm. When it comes, everyone will feel it. Abundance has a sound. Abundance has a sound. Plenty has a noise. You see, I hear the sound of abundance. If it is really abundant, you can't hide it because people must hear it. Abundance has a sound. For I hear the sound of abundance of rain am i communicating now there is a generation that is coming listen to me right now there are so many things you hear you hear people say there is war there is rumors of war that is the sign of the end time no it's not the sign of the end time oh people are killing people brothers are killing brothers that is the sign of the end time no it's not the sign of the end time it is the sign of the beginning of the end time do you know what the end time is there is something that we predicate that we precede the end time for behold i send the spirit of elijah before the great and terrible day of the lord what is the spirit of elijah the spirit of elijah is the spirit of prayer before the rapture there's going to be a blanket of prayer an unction that will make men pray in the market pray in the restroom pray while driving pray when they are sitting down in the midst of all of that there will be an outburst of the rapture that will precede the coming of the lord because god will not come for his people in the midst of chaos he will not come for his people in a chaotic atmosphere he will come for his people in an atmosphere of fire the spirit of elijah is the spirit of intercession in the spirit of prayer when i got married to my wife she was concerned about something in my life sometimes i would turn i would see her standing behind me i didn't know she was observing me and one day she asked me he said why are you always soliloquizing i said what do you mean he said you are, your lips are always moving 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 it's moving 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 it's moving anytime i meet you he said i've noticed that all the time and i'm so surprised now that sometimes i'm talking to her i'm hearing i say why are you are so soliloquizing he says the thing in you has entered me am i talking to somebody here hear me is the spirit of elijah there's the spirit of prayer the spirit of intercession what does it mean to tarry to tarry entering his presence and staying Tia, Tiaga, Tia, Tiaga, Tia. I remember years ago when I'm going for a program after I spent two, three days, I would talk to Reverend Kinsley and John. I would tell them where people will be seated. Huh? Come, come, come. Say it. I said in line. Said the first line, a woman will be seated down there. I will watch the service before I come. I'll say, Kinsley, when we enter that church, a woman is going to sit in. The fourth person on the second line she will hear so 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 she will hear this another person if you count the line the first 11 lines to the lie if you them i said i'm going to bring two people that are crippled one crippled person is held by two girls the other cripple is a family and the woman is tying hollandish and the way she when we just enter you know when you are following songs before they believe in you they have to know some they have to be sure of where they are going i know they went and they'll start looking i'll see them doing like this time i don't struggle i just walk to what i saw and where does that come from Tarry. <laughs> you come to ridicule this is the grace of god one time when abraham was praying for the sick and journalists were mocking he's a lie he's arranged he's fake he's fake when it comes out people come and testify i had cancer i had this now he's gone people will clap one journalist said i want to go and he told another journalist i want to prove to you that this is fake he said watch he came out this is what happened to you he said i have cancer oh he came out and Abraham said what happened to you 
He told Bram that he had cancer. That he had cancer. Bram was laying the stop. He said, you never had cancer. He said, what do you mean? He said, he had cancer. He said, you never had cancer. He said, what do you mean? I know what I'm saying. My friend is there. He said, hmm. You came to test if the prophetic is genuine. He said, well, you never had cancer before. But now, since you like cancer, in my father's house, Hayata Hey, you bring a sick man and he goes back sick, not in my father's house. You bring a man crippled. It goes back crippled, not in my father's house. Am I communicating? You bring a man disease, it goes back disease, not in my father's house. I was to have a crusade in a certain African country and they sent me a letter. They said, You cannot use the stadium. Go and look for a hall. And I replied, The mail. I said, Please, I am paying. I will pay double. Why can't I use the stadium? And they sent me a correspondence. What are you coming to do? I said, I'm coming to help your nation i'm coming to pray for prosperity and i'll pray for the sick those who are blind who are deaf, who are deaf who are dumb myself and my team are going to come and we'll pray something will happen and they say well we have the blind we have the lame we have the deaf we have the dumb they have a settlement area where they are if you want us to give you the stadium come and pray for them but come alone I said, but I move with my team. They said, they shouldn't follow you. So, I'm sure they thought that moving with my team, there's some drama, some thing going on somewhere. And I replied them, give me a date. And they gave me a date. I went in. I tarry. I tarry. And because I tarry, I carry. When I landed from the airport, they said, yeah, going, uh, we are, let's take the hotel. I said, I didn't come to the hotel. We are at the sick. And they said, we'll drive you to the location. But first of all, can we scan your hands? I said, why? I said, let's just scan your hands. They scanned my hands. And they said, we'd have to take off your ring. I said, this is my wedding ring. They said, we'll take it off. I said, no problem. I will talk to my wife. But you take it off and give it back to me. There's no problem. But don't wear it when praying for the sick. I said, take it off. They took it off. They took me to the settlement. I saw people with tiny bones. I saw people bent and twisted. And I said to them, what do I do? They said, pray. We are watching you. They carried camera. I saw people with uniform. They were looking at me. I said, in the name of Jesus, eyes open and i stood there the man was screaming he turned he could see i told the man say rise up walk and later he stood up he started walking i prayed for the next one he could see i prayed for the next one he could hear i prayed for the next one he walked less than seven minutes blind dead crippled while i was doing that i had some just stop and i turned as what's the matter he said when is the date of the program when is the date of the program and i said to them what do we do and they said to me listen to me they were calling me mr suleiman mr suleiman mr suleiman when they took from the airport they, they heard um a plaque you know plaque mr suleiman apostle for what mr suleiman mr suleiman when miracles were starting they said, apostle suleiman when is the date of the program i told them i said but i have a problem now I have a problem because I have to now dictate the terms of agreement. I say I'm entering, going back to fly out of your country. I'm not doing this crusade again. I just came to let you know I was actually coming to help you. See, so I just came now to show you a little bit of what would have happened if I stayed for two days. But now I'm going. They say, please, please. I knew what I was doing. Listen to me. The Bible says, listen. The Bible says there was a there was a rich man in the city, and there was a poor man in the city. He said the rich man had no wisdom. The poor man gave him counsel, and the rich man executed the counsel and became rich. Why became known? Why the poor man was still poor? The poor man had a problem. He had wisdom, but he had no negotiating power. Before I give you counsel, give me money am i talking to somebody so i told them i said i'm not coming again i'm going they were following me they were begging i see on one condition stadium free 
they say approved security free approved advert free approved you will buy my ticket and me and my team approved you know many years ago when dr fidelis dr fidelis and dr kingsley and all they still had a lot of time on their hands now they are big boys they are busy it's their time and they will follow me everywhere I notice when you know, there are cripples and there are cripples especially if you go to the north if you are doing crusade in those northern areas you know those cripples with rollers they will jam there you know those people they are para, they are paralytically crippled <laughs> they are paralytically crippled i notice when i'm walking towards that direction they will shield me i notice when i'm walking towards that direction at times i'm saying it's time to pray for the sick i'll see if they will you know that words <laughs> you know that words <laughs> you didn't see what we saw <laughs> these people are almost legless Man of God, please. This one is blind. It's understandable. That one is paralytically crippled. So, oh, shield me. That's what's the matter. They are sick here. They are sick. I didn't understand initially. They said, this one, they are blind. They are blind. They are crippled. Come here. I said, okay, okay. After a while, I, I said, but those ones, I said, if I leave them, leave them. <laughs> but I, that, that is the kind of matter I like to handle. I remember the Western Boys High School. And that is where Dr. Adebayo met me for the first time. Western Boys High School, Benin. I don't know who else was in that crusade some years ago. And you were there. How old were you there? You were a small boy. You were in secondary school, of course. You should be in secondary school. Because it's over 20 something years ago then. I was ministering. And it was powerful. God was moving. A woman had a crippled child born cripple over 12 or 13 years of born cripple but they could not afford a wheelchair so they put the child in a wheelbarrow because they could not afford a wheelchair they will carry the child in the wheelbarrow and they go from market to market they are begging now the legs are not just tiny they are rolled they are rolled it practically almost had no bones they are rolled rolled and they will carry the child in the wheelbarrow and they are begging so the woman suddenly saw there was a crowd gathering massive crowd in the school so she brought the child to beg and put the child at the gate but she noticed nobody was coming out to the gate so she took the child closer moved the wheelbarrow so that she could ask for arms and the word of the lord was going miracles began to happen she would hear somebody shout i can see another i can hear as things were happening she wanted to see what was going on a child was on the wheelbarrow crippled born crippled so she moved closer to be seen what was happening and she was saying wow and miracles were going on so after a while she remembered that a child was in the wheelbarrow so she went back there the wheelbarrow was empty and the boy was not in the wheelbarrow and the woman was worried what is going on the next day she saw a boy climbing the stage climbing the pulpit you in the program climbing the pulpit and climbing the boy was walking the woman I, all of a sudden from the back i was hearing scream he's my son he's my son he's my son and the next thing i saw ushers carrying a wheelbarrow in the air i said what is a wheelbarrow doing in the program i expect to see a wheelchair not a wheelbarrow and they said sir they were beggars the son was born crippled all of these is not enticing words of man's wisdom if god doesn't use you why did he call you if you will not use me why did you call me did you call me to make me a reproach did you why will i be crying for your work why will i go through ridicule if you would use me why did you call me if you would use me why did you anoint me if you would make me great why did you pick me out of the crowd lord why did you call me if you will use me take your seat and the place we read in first Kings chapter 20 he said and the king called me 
Yakanida Atidaba, Akanida Latidaba, and he saw a king. The prophet saw a king. Number one, ministry is royalty. Ministry is royalty. He saw a king. You are not called to shame and ridicule. You are called to fame and dignity. Ministry is royalty. You are not saved to be a slave. You are not saved to be enslaved. Redemption is not reduction. You are not redeemed to reduce. The God that called you, called you to honor and virtue. He said, if any man wants to be great, let him be a servant. Let him be a minister. So why did God call you? God called you to make you an eternal excellency. A joy of many generations. For I have said, ye are gods. And ye all are children of the Most High. He said, but because you don't know you are God, you die like men. In Psalm 82 from verse 5 to verse 7. And I said, they, they know not. He said, they walk on in darkness. And the foundation of the earth is out of course. For I have said, ye are gods. And ye all are sons of the Most High. But you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Are you called? me you called me to dignity you called me to honor you called me to royalty you called me to dignity you called me to honor you called me to royalty so ministry is dignity he said and he gave me a man so ministry is received ministry is received he said to him he said he gave me a man say keep this man for me if he goes i'm talking of the first, second first reference we read first Kings chapter 20 from verse 38 he said keep this man so ministry is received the Bible says I believe second Corinthians 4 1 he says seeing we have received this ministry that we faint not so ministry is received Colossians 4 verse 7 said to Archippus concerning the ministry which you have received number three ministry is stewardship 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 keep 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 this man keep keep this man keep keep this man you must understand that you are a steward god has given you what he gave you in trust ministry is to worship he said in the midst of a battle so ministry is combat ministry is a battle enemies are real in genesis 14 and verse 20 he said to abraham that the lord has delivered thy enemies into thine hand in genesis 22 and verse 17 he said that in blessing i will bless you in multiplying i will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven and like the sand upon the seashore and the seed shall possess the gate of his enemies in genesis 49 verse 8 judah thou art he whom the brethren shall praise for your leg shall be on the neck of your enemy exodus 23 22 i will be an enemy to thy enemy an adversary to thy adversaries numbers chapter 10 and verse 35 psalm 68 verse 1 let god arise and let his enemies be scattered let them that hate him flee before him deuteronomy 28 and verse 7 deuteronomy 28 and verse 25 so shall the lord cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face for they shall come in one way and they shall flee in seven ways psalm 18 verse 3 i will call upon the lord who is worthy to be praised so shall i be saved from my enemies Micah 7 and verse 8 rejoice not over me O my enemy for if I fall I will rise when I sit in that is Micah 7 8 the Lord shall be my light Luke chapter 10 and verse 19 he said he gave them power to cast out serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy somebody listen to me right now as you hear the sound of my voice power is real grace is real but it is in the secret place it is not in the shrine don't let nobody lie to you it is not in the shrine it is not in the charm don't let them introduce to you another god don't be so discouraged and somebody tells you there is something to show you hey, all these men of god you think they are not using some i use nothing i use nothing i use nothing i use nothing i went nowhere i don't have any charm i use nothing 
I am just crazy I am crazy when you see an Omega pastor you understand I am crazy when you see my son's minister you understand we are not normal we climb the pulpit believing that may be our last day so let's do all we have to do get crazy come in fiery live a blazing get wild and get crazy am i speaking to somebody if your blind eye doesn't open we will not close service if the lamb doesn't walk we will not close service am i talking to somebody right now am i talking to somebody who has heard such things who has seen such things shall a nation be born at once shall the earth bring forth in one day but as soon as zion travel she brought forth a man child <laughs> ministry is instruction keep 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 ministry is instruction ministry is instruction he said keep this for me 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 he said but i was busy here and there why can't men tarry they are busy here and there now being busy here and there is not a function of location or movement being busy here and there is an attitude of a defocused servant broken focus wandering mind wandering mind wandering mind when people come for me counsel i tell them say please whatever you have to say say it now go straight you know why i'm not being rough or rude i don't have time i have planned my time you cannot come and encroach on my time because if i have no resort you won't come here again one time i was in a certain country and um <laughs> apostle vincent was with me in that country and <laughs> I wanted to pray and they said the vice president of that country wanted to see me and as a faithful son he came and whispered he said that the vice president wants to see you i said let him wait agata, 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 agata. and he whispered again sir please sit down apostle he said sir the vice i mean the vice president i said let him wait i was sleeping after a while i wasn't answering him again i after one hour two hours three hours and he, he came uncomfortable he said ah, the, the, the man they said man it's gone i said let him go it's because of what i am doing that he had the result and came in the first place if i continue doing it he will come back let him go i can't leave the closet to attend to him because i don't have an answer for him yet you can spend 30 seconds with a person and that becomes the defining moment of that person's life because you carried a word from his presence there's a king african king that is so connected to me he has blessed me massively we spoke on the phone for the first time he greeted me i greeted him he was very arrogant he said how are you why don't you pick up your calls i said i'm sorry sir he's okay I said, sir, you are somewhere that looks like a forest in the midst of three people. Can you move away from there? He said, that was all. Call ended. Can you move away from there? He said, call went off. He called me again. He said, so someone can see this. As was the matter, I said, this man came, took me and said, nobody can see it. You saw it? I continued from here, I stopped. <laughs> After I finished, I told him, I said, I'm busy, call me back. He said, give me time. Arrogant king. He said, give me an oil wealthy guy. He said, give me time. I said, give, give me time. And I gave him time. And he called at that time and I gave him another time. Am I the one that has a problem? Uh -huh. so 
I settled that and I called him I said I've been seeing your several calls. I was in the service. How are you? He said, I'm fine, my father. I'm fine, father. I'm not, not my father. I'm fine, father. I'm fine, father. I'm fine, father. I said, um, can I call you back? He said, okay, father. Okay. My, my wife, my wife is here. I don't know if she can say, no, no, no. I don't want to talk to the queen now, you know. Um, um. I was in the country myself. I was in the country, my servant Dr. Fidel and the president wanted to see us, wanted to see me. But in my usual nature, I like opening doors for my children. So I said, follow me. Follow me. At least enter a president's office and shake a president. I said, and when you get them, don't tell him you want to take a picture. Let him tell you he wants to take a picture. If you get there, don't. I tell them, if you disgrace me, this is the last door I will open. Don't walk into that place. Hey, yes, yes, yes. No, stand tall. Don't be dishonored. Make sure you have sir is complimentary. Shake him with your hands and stand square. I say you only bend down for mentors. You don't bend down for people in power. So we walked in there with our phones. The first thing they said was drop phone. I said drop here. I said, I said, I said drop here. Eh? I said I said he sent for me. I didn't come. I don't drop my phones. I said, I can turn back now. Oh, sorry, sorry. And I went in there. Guess what? His wife was waiting. He called out his children. He called that family. Apostle has come. He said, no, we don't meet in the office. Let's go home. We went home and I sat down. And I said, uh, Mr. President. Um... I said, I have a solution for your country. And um, we started talking. The wife worked out, sat down. And all of them were looking. And I, 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 I oh. I, I, I was so excited. Dr. Fidel just sat down like, like we have seen this day. <laughs> he just sat down and we are just having a wonderful time, wonderful time. And um, you need a word. Carry. Get addicted. Your problem! Can I ask you a question? He was giving a life to keep. That was his business. Yet he was busy here. Some ministers are so unserious. Sometimes you, you, you are asking yourself if they have alternative outside prayer. If you have alternative outside prayer busy here and there so what are you busy doing you can be everywhere and you are nowhere you can be active and not effective he said keep it he said but as thy servant was busy here and there he left there are so many of us who have lost so many precious souls because they came with problems they came with issues rather than spending time in God's presence you were busy here and there on the phone making God chatting money till night some pastors chat more than Yahoo boys they chat more than Yahoo boys they will chat your wife is tired who are you talking to 1 a.m. you are chatting 2 a.m. you are chatting this is supposed to be a pastor who lives are committed to his hand lives lives people came because of their problems they left because you could not meet their needs they left more complicated I was in my office one day and I, I saw two elderly men came and I said, okay, welcome. Where did you come? Why did you come, sir? Eh, my son. My son. Elderly man talking to me. Say, my son. I said, yes, sir. Eh, somebody recommended us to you. I said, who? Eh, he spoke beneath. They were not, they were not here. Eh? In other words, what do they call him? 
and mentioned it was a native doctor who recommended them he has been handling their case for three years so he recommended them and i said native doctor recommend you to me why initially i was almost getting angry we are not colleagues i'm not a, i'm not a higher native doctor and he's a junior native. so because it's only colleagues that refer themselves am i talking to somebody here so why will they have value? why 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 <laughs> refer he say he say that means he, he say he's tired he's tired he said we should go <laughs> and meet you that uh, the only person he knows now that can do this thing is Suleiman. he's now that's his problem so when i heard it i was excited i said okay i said uh, but sir you entered here you were saying uh, my son my son is that what you call him he said, hello, 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 hello. I said, okay, so you people will come. What have you done? He began to tell me, and I said, okay, let us pray. While we are praying, a word came concerning his son that he had in Holland. And I mentioned the son's name by the Spirit of God. Mentioned where the son was there. And he tapped the other man. Omioi, 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 Omioi. You understand that in Benin? It means he saw it, he saw it, he saw it, he saw it. While I was praying, now what made me laugh? I was praying for the man. His eye was looking at me like this. I will send a few things. I will say something. He will confirm. The other man will confirm. I will say something. He will confirm. And the next thing he thought to myself, get in, get in. That means like, look power, look power, look get in, get in. These are elderly people. But all of these are not a function of a wishful thinking or dilly darling. Presence. Don't assume you have it. Spend time and carry it. Am I talking to somebody here? The presence of God is resident in the life of man who spend time to tarry. You are busy here and there. Can I surprise you, sir? I'm, I'm taking your time. Can I go on? Who was a teacher like Jesus? Who was a teacher like Jesus? Who was a rabbi like Jesus? He would teach. He would speak plainly. He would teach with parables. He would teach with a coin. He would, he would give serious, detailed statements about heaven. He would give a graphic description. At the age 33, he was full of wisdom, full of mental progress. The disciples first hand, they were listening to the lecturer by excellence. The one who opened the scroll, the one that saw the enemy in the time of fasting, he spent time teaching them. Three and a half years. After they thought they had graduated, he said, don't go anywhere yet. Tarry. No matter what I've taught you, tarry. I know you went to Bible school. I I know you studied theology i know you studied pneumatology the study of the spirit i know you study eschatology the study of the end time i know you study fastology the study of fasting but uh, you must get to understand clearly you must tarry i know you read the bible i know in your head the bible recites like a six-figure table but you must must tarry you must spend time in the presence of god don't enter there with an intention of coming out enter there with a mentality of stay hey what do we gain when we tarry we gain intimacy 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 intimacy is oneness with god intimacy is being current recent active being current, recent, active, constant in fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Intimacy. Intimacy is the acts and character of throwing yourself at his presence and staying there. 
intimacy is unlocking your expression in his presence passionately unlocking unlocking Iyanana Doba living in constant pursuit of proximity with celestiality living in constant pursuit of proximity with celestiality falling in love with God and staying in love daily desiring to know him more intimacy that is why he said I and my father are one Adam was intimate with God that was why God brought the animals to see what he will call them not what he will name them they already had a name before he brought them they already had a name but God wanted to see if Adam had entered into the divine and could pick the name they were called and take it from that realm to the physical that is why I said to see what he will call them not what he will name them he said Adam called them lion God said okay anything he called them Bible said and it was so meaning God already called them lion but he never told Adam he wanted to see if Adam can enter enter his mind and pick the name that he called them so he said lion he said you got it what is this he said fish you got it so intimacy is getting to that level like elijah did god wanted to hold the rain but elijah entered the mind of god he said according to my word and before the god whom i stand intimacy is getting to the realm where you can know the mind of the holy ghost on a matter you are living naturally in that realm where you can buy into the mind of god on an issue on the situation on a matter you say this is what god is saying somebody was running for election in this state the man had money crazy money so he came to me he said election i'm running he came with some money so i told him keep the money first let me pray when i bowed my head it, it, i didn't not 10 seconds he told me he said he will lose so i said sir don't spend money you will lose so he left with the money he brought because he had bad news so he went somewhere met some pastors ah you're going to be the next governor you're going to ah. and i was told i said how we state this one i said you'll be governor if all these people you are just one all of them say i'll be governor I said, ah. he told me you won't be governor he said but they said that we'll be governor i said okay when you lose let's see he refused to see me some one time in the plane and then it was a commercial flight i just saw him and i called i called him his nickname he said me I... another one leave me alone i said what he said me i must say change eh? <laughs> now you saw it why didn't you change it I roared the laughter and I said to him, I said, but uh, why you spend money now? We state this one. How? He told me you can't be, you won't be. Am I coming? How did that come so swiftly? Permanently stay there. When you as a man, you are not a tighter. You don't know what it means to tithe. 10% of everything so your 10 percent of your day is two hours 40 minutes if you don't spend two hours 40 minutes with god in a day you have not paid your tithes if you don't spend two hours 40 minutes with god in a day you have not paid your tithe spend time with god my biological children only know me and the closet they only know me and the secret place they only know me and the closet that's all they know about their father spend time intimacy i want to be like you 
we all with open face beholding the glory of God as in the glass we are transformed from glory to glory let me be like you help me to know you till I am known of you he said for my friend Abraham I know him he will command his house after me oh my god he said to Moses there is a side by me there is a side by me there's a realm in God that mortars can traffic in there's a realm in God that mortars can occupy there's a realm in God turn off your phone enter that realm put food aside enter that realm get back from this conference take out three days put off your phone enter that realm put off food enter that realm you are not seeing the sun enter that realm enter that realm in god that realm of grace and glory carry to there's no nation you can take if you can pray there's no city you can conquer if you can pray there's no continent that can bow to you if you can pray carry to carry there is something they want you to carry but it can only come when you tarry don't pray because you see prayer as an event let prayer become a lifestyle from a lifestyle becomes a character am i speaking to somebody yet tarry to carry tarry to carry tarry to carry intimacy with god intimacy with god buying to the mind of god buying So what do you do in the in the closet? You tarry. What do you benefit from tarry? Intimacy. That's all you need. Not fasting for a program. Not fasting because you have a revival coming. Stop that. That's childish. Just get intimate with God. Talking to Him every time, every time, every time, every time, every time, every time, every time talking to him every time every time every time everywhere around you is electrocuted one day my wife I don't think my wife it was my wife that woke up or somebody woke up and they found somebody by the house that scaled the fence the people living with us it was a headsman they found him, scaled the fence, landed, paralyzed. Everybody came and met him there. He landed some minutes to two or three. Finished prayer. The people, they went to the, Jesus! They ran back. What is that? He was just there. We bundled him outside to the gate. We went to service, came back. He was here at the gate. When they started communicating with him in our language, how did you come? He said, Came normal, came to come and check to come and check so that the colleagues can also enter. As he landed, he could stand. <laughs> landed, he crashed. It was like that. I said, No, no, don't beat him, don't beat him. Take him out. The man landed, boom, before I finished, accident. <laughs> We went, we came back, he was still there. I was the driver said, This guy is still here. There are places you don't enter. The people are not bragging, they are connected. Monday to Sunday, you don't have a prayer day. No prayer day. Monday to Sunday, you are always available every time. You're on the phone for three hours. You spend more time on the phone than on the throne. Daddy, intimacy. I've 
always taught that to my church and I taught that to them I said one of the things that attract uncommon power if you want to see uncommon unction when you come out there is a practice you must begin to engage in in the closet that practice is called ministering to God if you can operate in that dimension you become a mobile dispenser of power what does it mean to minister to God entering your divine presence and calling God names just call him names coin names when you enter divine presence you say oh God immortal God invincible God the one that laid the beams of his chambers on the water who is like unto thee the one that walks upon the wing of the wind as a chariot who is like unto thee the one that covered himself with light as with a garment the one that stretched for the heavens as a curtain the one that sits on the circus of the earth and the sons of men as grasshopper the standing lamb that has a bride the multi breasted God lamb of God seven eyes and seven horns do you know this dimension of God only the 24 elders are doing it only the 24 so when you operate that dimension on earth you start commanding certain dimensions that are beyond normal this is the life I live this is why I can't go down this is why conspiracy scatters why because I understand the immutability of his counsel by two immutable things whereon it was important Possible for God to lie is the root of Jesse, is the beauty of Esther, is the strength of Nehemiah, is the pride of Mordecai. I know him and I know who he is. The Bible calls him the lily among brambles, whose love is among maidens, is the rose of Sharon, is the ancient of days, is the lily of the valley, the bright and monster. When you are in that presence, begin to minister to God begin to call him names begin to call him names begin to sing worship songs that speaks of his mightiness mama sang one if only you know the power of that song immortal God invincible God immortal God how great thou art there are songs that you bring before him and as you minister to God you know what happens he reveals and unveils himself he exposes himself the immortality that dwells in light on verse do you know only you were sharing that just now there's an angle do you know how Elijah brought down fire he ministered to God. He began to tell him, You are the God of Abraham. You are the God of Isaac. You are the God of Jacob. Let them know I've done all these things according to thy word. He, 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 he conjured the covenant of fathers. The Bible says, It didn't say the fire came down, it said the fire fell the fire fell and that's why I tell my, my music artist I say ask God to give you songs that ministers to him that talks about him that talks about him that talks about him Elijah understood that dimension of God how to minister that's what you spend time to do in his presence minister to him minister to him let me know you until i am known do you know one time in the bible they needed instruction they needed to know what to do they needed direction the bible says so they sat down in his presence and in acts 13 verse 2 he said and as they ministered unto god he said separate me paul and barnabas you minister to God and lack being ministered to separate me Paul and Barnabas for the work 
child of God. You are how can a pastor, a pastor, he said, I don't know if it's Lagos or Abuja. I feel ashamed. I'm not critical of you. I'm not judging you. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. It's a level you are in now. But if you want to get accuracy, minister to God. Take out three, four days. Just be ministering to him. Be talking of his mightiness. How great he is. As you minister, he gives you direction. For thou shalt hear a voice behind thee. And it shall say, Isaiah 30, 21. This is the way. Walk in it. Be on your feet. And begin to minister to God. Immortal God. The ancient of days. The lily of the valley. The bright and morning star. The one that covered himself with light. As with a garment. The one that covered himself with light. As with a garment. He stretched for the heavens as a curtain. Created a barrier between water and land. And said water should not return to land. The one who prides in the immutability of his counsel. in the name of Jesus listen to me as we minister to God listen to me there were three feasts first was the feast of Passover the second was called the feast of Pentecost and the third was called the feast of Tabernacle the feast of Passover is typology of you walking out of darkness into his marvelous light when you're moving from sin to righteousness you're moving from the Adamic nature into the new nature of the new creation now you are born again that is the feast of Passover and there is the feast of Pentecost what happened in the upper room the Holy Ghost comes upon you you begin to speak in tongues and pray but that is where many of us stop. There is the feast of Tabernacle where God practically begins to reside. You are a carrier. Intimacy. You become a mobile dispenser of divinity. A carrier of power. You are trafficking in the realm of immortals. You can stand and your eyes can be open and you can travel into time and can see what shall befall in the next 10 years, in the next 15 years. You can see what shall happen in the next 12 years, in the next 8 years. It can take you backward to see what happened 15 years ago. You are enjoying the feast of tabernacles. And do you know the feast of tabernacles was what Jesus enjoyed when he climbed up the mountain in Matthew 17. Elijah appeared. Moses appeared. Tabernacled on the mountain. Am I talking to somebody right now? It takes you ministering to God. Carry! To carry. When somebody says, I want to pray from four to five, he has not started praying. Because if you want to pray, even the bell can't stop you. If you want to pray, even the bell can stop you. Go into the presence, stay there. That's what he said to Jacob, arise, go to Bethel, dwell there. Sir, when Jacob dwelt in Bethel, he was not in a hurry to leave. Angels came. He never got that encounter because anytime he came to Bethel, proud to that time, he's in a hurry. But when he got to that place and he was ready to stay, angels appear. And guess what he said? He has been passing back and forth that same place. He said, now truly, the Lord is in this place and I know it. to pray and pray and pray and have a mountain you should know our mentality about separating yourself you 
if you are if you're if you a regular visitor of Baba Lola Mountain, you go to the time. If, if the people that were keeping the mountain then are still there, are still there now, they would have mentioned my name to you. Eh? Huh? They would have mentioned my name to you. I was a regular, regular. When I finished Sunday service, pew, I'm there. Monday to Friday. Bam. I, I knew everybody. I knew everybody there. Go there, no food, no water. So they will tell you, Suleiman used to come here. And they are not lying. A kitty mountain. Oh, they, they told you. A kitty, a lorry, um, a phone, a liar, a phone, a liar, sorry. Call the mountains. I just needed a place to pray. There was one I took. <laughs> there was one I went to. I took a brother. We climbed and climbed and climbed and climbed and climbed. While we are still climbing, the brother told me, say, God say he has heard us. Let's go back. Okay, a kitty. The middle was it? Not the middle, almost 75 percent. We're 75 percent gone. A kitty state. He had man. God say as us. I said, when did we pray? We are not yes, yeah. Climbing the mountain alone. was doing all that for somebody here i was going to all those mountains for someone here to easily collect god knew there will be someone today so he was preparing me ahead so you would not have to struggle to mountains so that you can collect the bridge that is resident now mountains and most prayer places have become polluted that is why you stay at home and pray the prayer stay in your house turn off your phone nobody can disturb you if you don't want to be disturbed so forget all that forget all that nobody nobody can harass if you don't want to be harassed spend time if you didn't get anything in this conference return back and say i had god serve and say tarry to carry secret of uncommon unconditional release of an outstanding ministry is in the secret place and many are too busy here and there you are too busy god said and god came down in the cool of the day and began to traffic he said adam here are thou is it that god didn't see him or god was looking for him no God saw Adam. But why was God looking for him? Adam was not in the location God expected of him. We are Adam! You have left the place of strategic fellowship. What was the place? It was a place of fellowship and communion. Why did you call me if you won't use me? Use me or kill me. You have one life to live, just one. Just one. And you are aging. You are aging. Just one life. Make full proof of thy ministry. Oh Lord. Tarry to carry. Tarry to carry. Tarry to carry. He said he called them that they might be with him that he might send them to preach first they must be with him there are many who are going preaching without having been with him one day dl moody was sitting the man of god dl moody was sitting in a train 
on the, on the side of a train it was quiet and while he was sitting on the train people boarded the train and inside the train people were falling right left and center in the train tumbling holding the poles and flying everywhere and the man asked the woman what kind of thing is happening in this train what's going on and the woman said this only happens when dl moody comes to town this only happens when dl moody i think is around he was just seated in the plane the man may be silent but the anointing is loud am i speaking to somebody right now Carry it up. God is about to release an unction. Some people are going to be drunk, drunk in power, and this drunkenness is going to be a drunkenness. We have the appetite, the, the appetite, the solid stamina. That passion you need. 12 hours you are with him. 14 hours you are with him. 24 hours you are with him. Two days you are with him. You are just enjoying him. You are just enjoying tarry tarry grace to tarry grace to tarry grace to tarry i need to carry i receive grace to tarry i need to carry i receive grace to tarry i need to carry i receive grace to tarry i need to carry open your mouth the Holy Ghost is dispersing gift, dispensing, dispatching, dispensing, dispatching. Akarosia, Akarosia, El Rotogo, Arakasoko, El Rokoko, Arakoso, El Rokoso, Arakoso, El Rokoso, Arakoso, El Rokoso. In the grace of the Lord upon me and in the presence of the Spirit, I activate the grace to stay, stay in power, the grace of the Lord to tarry, to wait on the Lord. Tari, ayadadara, ayadadara, ayadadara. Oh, my God. 
of Jesus. Hear me. An anointing that will drive you indoors is coming on you. You are going to suddenly find that after today that the passion to just stay indoors, the passion to pray. Church administration has taken over the place of prayer order. We are now looking for method and God is looking for men. We are looking for strategies to keep people. We are trying to maintain the status quo. Meanwhile, the world still needs to be evangelized. True desire. A man Abri separated himself in Tamilat. In Tamilat. There is hope for a tree. Even if it be cut down at the scent of water. Let the tree be in the desert at the scent of water. Let it be where the humidity is low at the same if it can tarry and be connected. So it's not location. Location is immaterial. No. How many of you know? How many of you know that electricity is electricity is electricity in the village? Electricity is electricity in the village. 100 watts in the village is 100 watts in the city. 50 watts in the city is 50. So the problem is not the location, it's the connection. Ada! Wherever you are. My God. Lord, I'm... I'm to me as a vessel to the hungry the hungry the hungry the hungry lift your hands everybody like the feast of tabernacle let this place become the citadel of grace and glory we are deposits will be transferred that as this unction comes on you you become a residue of power a dispenser of intimacy by the power of the holy ghost four is the number of balance it's time for you to move with jet speed in the spirit number one the glory of god the divine presence of God for your ministry for the assignment of God for your life number two number three let the glory come now let the number four take take it take it take it take take power take power now all of our power power everywhere everywhere power on this gallery there hold your hands all of you hold hands from now from this place down hold hands from now traffic in the realm of immortals traffic in the realm of the divine take take Take, 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 take,
the realm of immortality, in the realm of the divine. Hold your hands over there, over there, over there, way to the back, over there. Hold hands and lift it up, Father. The appetite for intimacy to traffic in the realm of immortal upon your servant, your vessel, your minister. Take, take. Hold hands here, hold hands, hold hands here, lift it up. The realm of immortals to traffic in the realm of the divine. I ask for an impartation. The impartation you came to receive, the deposit you came to collect from God right now. Take. Fresh. Fresh, 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 fresh. Old hands, old hands, and the son of the prophet stand. All of you, all of you, all those as now lift it up. You need the anointing of the Holy Ghost, empowerment for leadership, creativity. Let your mind be alive. May He make your mouth the pen of a ready writer. Take! Yamamamaza, 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 Eka Baraga, Eka Baraga. Old hands on this stand now. Old hands left and right. All of you, old hands left and right. In the name of Jesus, Father, globalize, amplify their voice. Let royalty become the definition of their call upon their court. Touch! Royalty, 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 the divine by the power of the Holy Spirit. Eganaza, Egolo, the Zodaza, Eleketezaga, Eleketezaga. Who dance there? My father, my father, the God that covered himself with light as with a garment, that this one begin to traffic in the realm of the divine, the realm of immortals, the realm of the divine. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Open your mouth. searching for a man oh God is looking for a man who can stand in the gap crying spare my people and heal their broken heart and give not the inheritance to the heathen spare my people Lord there is power here please don't touch me don't touch me as I pass through whatever you collect will fall on you spare my people Lord don't touch me clear the eye in my generation use your servant Lord ah, in my generation use your servant Lord in my generation and he their broken heart and give he not the inheritance to, to the heathen spare my people Lord. in my generation and he their broken heart glory 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 the glory is here the glory is here. The glory is here. The glory is here. Jesus touch him. Jesus touch him. Jesus touch her. Jesus touch. Jesus touch. Take! All of you, take it. Let it go. Let it go. Prophetic mantle. Touch! Prophetic grace. Prophetic mantle. Take! Prophetic mantle. To pref prophetic grace. Jesus. You cannot come here and not manifest. You can't come here and not manifest. Your eye burst open. Your ear burst open. Your hand become anointed. My mouth become the pen of a ready writer. Your heart indicts a good matter. Pain! Ragabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabag
Take it in the name of Jesus. Spirit of God. And he they are broken hearts. SOP national coordinators come here. National coordinators. All the sons of the prophet, national coordinators. And give and give and give not thy inheritance to the hidden father what i see may they see what i enjoy may they enjoy what i experience may they experience let it be a season of an outburst of favor i ask for a transfer a transfer of grace grace Grace, grace, and give not thy inheritance to the heathen. And give Mahayalaha. Pray, 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 somebody. The Lord is here. He's seated on the throne. His throne is high and lifted up. And his glory filled the temple. And give not thy inheritance to the heathen. Spare my people, Lord. Those of you from UK and America, come here. United Kingdom, America, United Kingdom, Europe, and America. Any part of Europe, others can go back to their seats. Those from Europe and America, Europe and America, Europe and America. And give not thy inheritance to the I'm not no not African nations tomorrow morning I will minister to those we have hundreds and hundreds hundreds from African different countries in Africa but I want to just minister tonight for those of you from Europe and America we have quite a crowd so I'm giving you time to come from Europe will Jesus will Jesus Will Jesus pastor a church that will not grow? Anywhere he went, multitude followed him. He wasn't following them, they were following him. Lift your hands. My father, I'm asking for every hungry heart. I transfer the anointing for intimacy, the anointing for fervency, the anointing for currency. I ask that this impartation become phenomenal. It shall be that which people will see, and it shall be that which will endure people to the Lord. Right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I release it upon your life. Pack! Jesus, pack! Pack! Let the testimony come. In the mighty name of Jesus is your season. Just begin to pray in the spirit. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus' name. Look here. The grace that you need. The empowerment that you need. The uncommon and outstanding 
empowerment that you need to begin to traffic in the realm of immortal permanently appetite to stay in his presence nothing quenches this fire nothing extinguishes this fire nothing extinguishes this fire in the name of Jesus I can't continue I want to go and pray I want to go and pray I can't continue you live here go and pray spend the whole night spend the next one hour the next two hours tomorrow morning is very very prophetic because people shall be receiving mantles people shall be ordained after the order of joshua and the spirit of wisdom Your ordination determines your longevity. Who ordained Moses? Nobody. How did he end? Who ordained Joshua? Moses. How did he end? Your longevity and your speed. So I believe in God. Bishop Mon, Ignosa, Bishop Mon, great man of God. Will share with us tomorrow morning also on marriage. Dr. Ch Dr. Chidi Okorafo is with us tonight. Dr. Chidi, God bless you. Bless you, Dr. Chidi Okorafo is here with us tonight. Praise God. Say, friend and a brother, we believe in ourselves so much. Dr. Chidi, you are not living tomorrow with us, blessing us. You should bless us tomorrow, right? So, tomorrow you must give us a word before we allow you to go he came through he just came from the, from america he said apostle i want to come i want to come and enjoy what god is doing but we can't let him just go without dropping a word tomorrow just worship him, worship him, worship him. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hold an offering. Let's close, let's close. Lift up your oil on your right hand. Hold an offering with your left hand. After the morning service tomorrow, OFM pastors, if you want to leave, then you can. After the morning service tomorrow, OFM pastors, if you want to leave, you can. If you want to stay for the fire night, you can. But those of you, you know yourself. Those of you, you're, you're, you know yourself. If you have gotten a call from Dean, you call them. Okay. Those of you who were mentioned and all that. If you were not in the meeting of Tuesday, you are not. for signs wonders and miracles in the name of Jesus whatever God can do this oil will do breakthrough signs and wonders in Jesus name your off offerings are blessed in Jesus name anoint yourself and prophesy your offerings are blessed in Jesus mighty name come on choir come on choir Son of man, son of
been given an information that what I prophesied this morning just happened Facebook has just changed its company name to Meta this month who was here no you have not seen shock wait till December then you will know there's a prophet in town Hear me? He told me. I was asking him questions. Hear me? Hear me? 24 hours, 24 hours. You wait. You will know. When I speak with authority and I give you dates, it's because I have had it audible. hear me i'm telling you there is an app i'm repeating it that is supposed to be for pictures and now it's now become for gossip it will no more be for gossip next year only for pictures and for good news making people happy excited nobody will be bold enough to abuse anybody on it you wait you will understand policy will come out a policy will come out and many people will go to bed many people who have damaged people who have ruined people who have frustrated people who have destroyed people will go to bed